Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I'm doing another doll news video. This is a series of videos on my channel where I talk about promotional images for all the newest, latest, upcoming dolls and we discuss our thoughts and feelings in the comments. I haven't made one of these videos in a while because there hasn't been a whole lot of doll news to talk about until recently. Now we've got a couple images that we can talk about and let me say, there are some good dolls but there's also a lot of cheap shit. A lot of dolls which are just gonna gather dust in kids' toy boxes around the world because they are so garbage. So we'll get into all of that later on in the video. But first, if you love dolls as much as I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, check me out on Instagram and TikTok, and also check out my Patreon. I now have four exclusive videos on there, and I'm planning on filming a 90s Disney doll collection video soon. So if you wanna check that out, watch me talk about my collections, then go and check out my Patreon. Subscription starts from just $3 a month, which I think is like pretty reasonable. You're welcome. <laughs> also, please, as we go along in this video, make sure you're commenting what you think of some of these dolls. I have lots of opinions, but anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna talk about Barbie. I have made no secret of the fact that I felt like Barbie's quality, especially the Playline dolls, has been declining in recent years. Um, but you know, th there's glimmers of hope here. First of all, we have Barbie Dream Besties. And this feels like Barbie's attempt to compete with Bratz and MGA and all of MGA's doll lines really, like Rainbow High and OMG. These are kind of like fashion forward, teen girls. I do love the fact that they're bringing back some of the classic Barbie characters. Like we have, well, we have Brooklyn Barbie, we have Malibu Barbie, we have Teresa, missed her, it's been a while. And R Renee, is it Renee? She's one of the newer characters from uh, the Barbie kind of cinematic universe, but she's very cute. And these dolls are very cute. These dolls are very cute. I kind of wish they had the original Barbie face molds um, instead of these like balloon oversized heads, but they are very cute oversized heads. Don't get me wrong. The outfits are nice. I hate what Brooklyn Barbie is wearing because Barbie has done so many of these weird like bomber jackets with big puffy sleeves recently. I don't know why they're so obsessed with this look, um, but I personally am not obsessed with it, so get rid. But you know, I've, their hair looks really nice. They've got articulation, which I love. What Barbie's wearing is quite cute. Uh, what Teresa's wearing is quite cute. What Renee's wearing is quite cute. Like, these are fine. These are fine. I also think these are kind of here to replace the Barbie extra dolls. And they're quite a good spiritual successor, I would say. One of them has a bag, which is a piece of toast. I mean, it's kind of camp and I'm kind of here for it. Okay, next up we have some Chelsea dolls. And I just wanted to highlight these because I love that they have removable clothes again. Um, they've been doing this for a while now, but the Chelsea dolls for ages just had like plastic painted on tops. Ugh, they were horrible. Chelsea looks a bit weird here, like her head's been squashed. Her neck is like non-existent, but these outfits are cute. And I'm just, I'm just really appreciative that they have removable clothes, as dolls always should, in my opinion. Next up, we are getting a uh, Silkstone reproduction of Skipper, because it is her 60th anniversary, I think. Um, so yeah, th this is very cute. Probably won't buy it myself, um, unless I see it on sale. Uh, they've given her dark brown hair, which is interesting, probably because Skipper is kind of known for having dark brown hair now, um, but I would have liked to see a blonde version. Oh, next up, these are hideous. These are hideous. This is the new pop reveal Barbie dolls. Um, they are meant to be like boba themed, like bubble tea themed. That's why they have this like weird uh, spotty pattern on their skirts. Obviously, I do not appreciate the painted on tops. These ones especially look particularly plasticky and I find the colors like kind of hideous. Um, not a fan, not a fan. At least they have articulation. Next up, we have some new cutie reveal Barbie dolls. These ones are the ones that are like dressed in mascot outfits. 
And they've gone for like a kind of Lisa Frank colour scheme this time. Uh, th these are not for me, personally. The hair quality is quite good with these, like, they, they could be a lot worse. They're just a bit garish, you know what I mean? And we also have some colour reveal mermaid dolls. So many reveal dolls in the Barbie line now, oh my goodness, are, are we not bored of this? I'm bored of it. And again, the patterns are kind of garish, but I actually quite like the colours for these. They're quite harmonious. I especially like this one with the love hearts on. She's cute. Like, these psychedelic patterns are kind of cool and give me kind of 60s vibes. At least these dolls look like there was a bit of a vision. It wasn't just like, let's throw every colour on the colour wheel at these dolls. We have two new Barbie... Fashionista dolls like they're not actually called fashionistas anymore. They're just like generic Barbie dolls um, But these ones are celebrating Barbie's 65th anniversary. This one is meant to be totally hair Totally hair Barbie. Um, the dress is very similar to totally hair Barbie, but the hair is like Really boring. It's not long enough. Yeah, so it's like it's not totally hair. It's like somewhat hair totally underwhelming hair. It's not giving it's not giving and I much prefer this one. This one is celebrating um, the original Black Barbie from 1980. And I think this is like, the reference is very clear. Um, and it's a cool outfit, you know? I love her hair as well. This doll is just like quite cool. And I like her shoes. Okay, next up we have three new presidential candidate Barbies. Again, these are like so underwhelming. You can't even like unbutton her jacket at the front. It's just like sewn together like that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these. I just wish they'd do something a bit more interesting. Uh, okay, this is Barbie's dream closet. And I kind of like this. I kind of like this. The colors are fun. The fashions are fun. The shoes are fun. If the doll had articulation, then this would be like up there for me. This is just a fun set. We also have a Barbie doll having a sleepover with her puppies. Kind of random, but you know, it is what it is. I do not like her pajamas, but it comes with a sleeping bag, which has little pockets for the puppies to go in. That's quite a cute idea. But overall, this just looks kind of cheap. Oh, this is so disappointing. But here we have the new Barbie advent calendar for this year. And it's just really underwhelming. And it's also like basically exactly the same as the one we got for the past two years, um, just with slightly different colors. Last year, they brought out two Barbie advent calendars, one that was a lot more exciting and another one that was kind of cheap and rubbish like this one. So many of the accessories you can get are just bits of plastic, which I don't I don't find very inspiring or very exciting. There's only three pieces of clothing, which are two skirts and a mermaid's tail. The rest is all just cheap plastic. And yeah, it's just the same. It's just the same thing over and over again. This is really, I'm so disappointed with this. Ugh, I might not even get it this year. Normally I buy the Barbie advent calendar, but I can't be bothered this year if, they, if they're not gonna even, if they're not gonna put in any effort, then I'm not gonna put in any effort to buy it. We have an I love school Barbie. Ugh, Barbie, you're such a nerd. <laughs> but I, you know, I quite like this. It could be worse. Um, again, it does annoy me that her jacket doesn't unbutton, but you know, this could be worse. Okay, I really like Barbie's dress in this set. This is Barbie and her sisters. And, you know, the colors are really nice here. I do actually really like that they've all got removable clothes and they're like quite nice clothes. I might even buy this. Barbie looks really cute. I wish she was in heels, but it is what it is. Okay, these dolls are actually quite nice. These are Barbie Mysteries, The Great Horse Chase, which is gonna be on Netflix. I think it's a series, it could be a movie, um, who knows. But these dolls are actually quite nice. Like, they have articulation, um, they have removable clothes. Like, you know, could be worse, could be worse. There is also a Great Horsey Chase play set with, uh, with Renee, that character from before. And this isn't actually anything to do with the Great Horsey Chase film or wh whatever it is, but here is a Barbie play set with a horse. The only thing that's really annoying about this is her trousers are painted on. Why would they do that? Like, Mattel, have some integrity. Like, ugh. Anyway, that's it for Barbie. Now we have quite a lot of Monster High stuff 
but like it seems like Mattel is putting all of their focus and resources and creativity into Monster High at the moment. We have some new cre creep productions, reproduction dolls. These are really nice. I would like to get the Cleo um, and Deuce set. They come together. The others are all sold separately. I'm really annoyed because the last wave of Monster High reproductions didn't come out in the UK. And they were being resold online for like a hundred pounds. And I was like, Mattel, give us doll fans in the UK a break, please. So yeah, I didn't get any. Um, I hope these ones come out in the UK. We also have this operetta, um, like collector doll. Uh, I don't think she's going to be too expensive. I think she's going to be like 50, maybe 60. And I actually kind of love this. I love this. I love the fact that it has like a rockabilly kind of vintage music retro vibe. She's cool. I will definitely buy her if she's available in the UK. We have this Li Lieta, Li Li Leona, Leona, something, Lo Lumin Loomington doll. Uh, this is a collector doll. It's like, I like this. It's giving Phantom Manor. It's giving Halloween. I love Halloween. So I'm like really into this. I love her long skirt and the colors are beautiful, very haunting. But this doll cost $75. It'll probably cost even more in the UK. So that is too much. Considering like, you know, it's, it's not that intricate. It's just not that exciting, this doll. That is way too much, way too much. I would buy this if it was like 50 quid. Maybe it'll go on sale, but Monster High seems to be quite popular at the moment, so we'll see. Next up, we have some images of a fear book, <laughs> yearbook line of Monster High dolls. We have Toralai, and she's quite cute. I like her. She's not my favorite. This one's probably my favorite. This is Draculaura. She's like filmmaking or something. And she, I just really like her outfit with the ruched skirt situation and the chunky trainers um, and her little beret. Very cute. Uh, I wish the beret was made out of real material, but Mattel would never do that these days. Next up we have Twyla. Maybe this one's my favorite, actually. She's got like a very cute dress on. It's very Lolita, like, uh, it's, it's just really cute. And she comes with a little miniature of the school. Don't know what that's about, but there you go. Now, this set is kind of incredible. This is a Monster High Weekender, um, I think it's called Eek Eekender play set. And it comes with so much stuff. It comes with two dolls, a car, they have changes of clothes, they have pajamas, they have spare shoes and suitcases, so much stuff. And it's $75, which I think is quite reasonable considering how much it comes with. Like this would be a great like Christmas present for any child. And I'm sure collectors can get behind it as well because it, they still have articulation and incredible hair and cool outfits. I. I actually really like this. Okay, next up we have some new like locker surprise, whatever they're called, dolls. But these ones are like dressed as pop stars and they have like the Britney radio mics and you can take off their skirts and they're wearing like very Beyonce inspired like leotards, pop diva icon. I I'm obsessed. I really like these. I actually really like these. We also have some music festival Monster High dolls, which is quite funny. It's like they're performing in the festival, but they're also watching themselves in the festival. <laughs> and um, I, these are really cool as well. I love a music festival. I went to three music festivals last year. I'm really down for these. These are kind of dressed like they're going to Coachella, like an American festival, not a UK festival. In the UK, they'd, they'd probably have to wear Wellingtons. They wouldn't be able to wear heels. But the, but these are really cool. I, I love these. Okay, we have a new doll. This is a returning character. I forgot her name. But this caused like a mini stir online because people were unhappy with the new body molds they've used for her. But you know, I don't see a problem with this. And this doll looks really cool. Um, yeah, I, I love the big puffy sleeves as well on this outfit. The Disney store are also bringing out a collector's edition Ellie, Fra what's his name? Is it Frank? Fred. Fredrickson. What's his first name? Carl. 
Carl and Ellie doll set. This is probably going to be ridiculously expensive, but it's very cute. Gosh, you can just reenact that whole incredibly, like, painful opening sequence to um, Up, which is fun. <laughs> okay, this has to be, like, bottom of the list for me. Definitely, without a doubt, the worst doll which I've spoken about today. This is a Belle doll where, like, literally the whole outfit is plastic. She's got this, like, big, cagey, ugly plastic skirt, which you can clip charms onto. And I'm just like, could they not have found a way to clip charms onto, like, material? They've definitely done that before, and this just looks so cheap and rubbish. I really am quite disappointed. Meanwhile, Jack Specific are creating this doll set of the whole Mad Madrigal family um, from Encanto. And I love this. Like, I just the sheer quantity of characters here is really exciting. You can have the whole family in one set. I think that's so cool. And they all have removable outfits. Like, I, I kind of wish that Jack Specific had got the rights to make all the Disney dolls instead of just the Encanto dolls because they're doing a better job. They're doing a better job than Mattel are. Anyway, speaking of Mattel, Mattel are also bringing out Spin and Reveal princess dolls. Will the plague of Reveal dolls never end? I ask you, especially Mattel. Mattel is really going all in on Reveal dolls. Like, it's because their dolls have no no pizzazz, so they have to kind of like dress them up in a way that makes them look interesting. But, you know, on closer inspection, these dolls are just rubbish. They're rubbish. Plastic, plasticky, you know, and it's funny because they, 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 they make all these dolls that are like reveal dolls, but then the reveal is so meh. Like, the actual product is so underwhelming. Anyway. There are also new Magic Mixies Pixlings. Um, I actually really like this doll line. I wish they made versions which didn't come with the whole reveal thing, because I don't really care for that, <laughs> as you can probably tell. I don't really care for that. Um, but I do really like the dolls. I think the designs are really, really cute and nice, and they remind me of the 80s and 90s, how whimsical they are. Okay, the company that made Fail Fix is also making a line of dolls called Love Dolls, L-U-V. It stands for Limitless, Unique, Vibrant. These are cute, you know? I thought the Fail Fix dolls were a bit gimmicky. These are a little bit more like just straight up fashion dolls. And they're nice. They, they look really high quality, which is great. The clothes look like they're made out of nice material. One thing I would say is I think all of these outfits are a little bit too much. Like, they need to take off one thing. There's just a little bit too much going on on all of these outfits. But I think my favourite one is probably Autumn. She's got a kind of boho style. The boxes are made to look like magazines, which is interesting because I feel like kids these days wouldn't understand the reference of a magazine. So there we have it, doll fans. I spoke about loads of new dolls which are coming out soon. Please let me know in the comments if you are going to buy any of these dolls. If you have any strong feelings towards these dolls, also let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok and like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, check out my Patreon and have a great week, doll fans. Bye. Thank you to Siren Kelly and all of my amazing patrons. Your support means everything.